So my feeling on this is David's feet aren't set. As you can see, they're in the air right here, in the air, and that's post-impact of ball. And as we've seen almost 100% of the time in this match, with very high-level pros in a semifinal of the PPA, when your feet aren't set pre-impact of ball, you're not able to control it, and it sails long. And so as you can see, that paddle face just comes open, and then that ball goes high. And so my feeling is, one, I would have preferred to not see her not speed this ball up. I would have preferred to see her get her and her teammate closer up to the kitchen line because they kind of are they kind of backed off here with what's going on now do I realize that they had the advantage they did this switch but her teammate went way off the court and this is another reason why I don't really like the four the forehand jump around because what Wilson has basically done here is I'm trying to hit a winner with no pace on the ball like there's no there's no pace on that ball let's watch this this is in real time there's nothing why are you jumping around for your forehand on that ball? You could easily take this as a backhand and just dink it and not just destroy your court position for your teammate. And that's one of the, the whole reason why David is late coming over is because she's holding for Wilson. This isn't her fault. She's trying to be a good teammate and cover as much court as she can. But when your teammate's now off the course, what are you? You're in a defensive position. We have just given the entire offensive. This is not neutral. When Wilson's this far off, you're not in a neutral position. You're in a defensive position. And then it shows when she tries to speed up a ball from a defensive position.